Welcome back to the podcast of truth, interesting stories, and of course, always non-fictional. Would you believe it? Oh my god, I can't believe that story is true, and yet it is true, is what you'll be saying by the end of this podcast. And this is your first time, if this is your first time listening, welcome to the podcast. My name is Cameron, and next to me is my wonderful co-host. Hello, I'm back. For those, again, it's your first time listening. I wasn't here last week. I was on holiday. Mm, wonderful holiday. It's lovely, thank you. How did you cope, survive, thrive without me? Amazing, amazing. Up until this point, it's been one, two, three, four episodes of myself. It's been wonderful. Stories. But now, story number five, we have a story from Hannah. So for this time, I'm the person that's going to be in the dark. Hannah's the person that's going to be shining the light. The light of true and interesting stories upon your wonderful ears and of course my wonderful ears mm. with that being said hannah please elaborate what is the plot what's the plot what is it what's the plot i need to know what's the plot oh, what's on. the plot what's the plot <laughs> all right enough what's the plot right, no. what's the plot right. what's the plot what's the plot what's the plot Obviously, we know the COVID-19 pandemic, as we have been in, has given us the rise and... Coronavirus. Some would say now the fall of working from home, remote working, all of that good stuff. Mm. I know a lot of businesses now are like, oh, no, you need to come back now. Come back, we miss you. Come back. Fine, whatever. However, there's been stories throughout this work from home period from people who... You hear about them and you're like, they're not telling the truth. They're not. About people outsourcing their own work to someone else for cheaper so they can just survive, thrive and live off their salary without doing the work. Now, some people think this phenomenon of people outsourcing their own work to someone else for less money while they get to keep the bulk of their salary while doing absolutely zilch of the work is new. I was reading, scrolling, doing what I do on the social meds. And I came across a very interesting, I can't remember if I first saw it on a video and then I read up more, but I came across a very interesting story about a man named Bob. Bob. Now I Robert. don't... Bob. It says Bob. Bob. I will clarify. I will just... I'm just going to jump in here. I don't know if Bob is his real name or if, you know, his name's been changed for security reasons in <laughs> all the blog posts. Like, you know, might, might not want to be identified at this point, right? But when you research the story, was he Bob on everything? Bob. Always Bob. Always Bob. Bob. Surname? Bob on. Um, no, it was always just Bob. Okay. Which makes me think potentially they don't actually know this person's name. No. So they've called him Bob. No, Bob. If you're listening, Bob, watching, whatever, and your name really is Bob, and you're like, I recognise that story, that was me, please do reach out and let us know that your name is actually Bob. And if it's not Bob, can you just let us know what it is? You can private message us, I think, somehow. So there's a company in America. I don't know. Nothing tells you what the company is called that I have found. Security. Security reasons, which mm. they didn't pay enough attention to. Anyway, so it was... Back in 2012 time, and they were like, we're going to do an audit of our traffic to our VPN, so their secure company portal. We're going to do an audit of it. Everything went fine, normal, normal, normal. Whoa, what is this? And it was um, someone that was regularly visiting their VPN from China. Now, they don't have any employees that live in China. They don't really do any work with people in China. They have no ties to China. No ties to China, American mm. company. Yes. Mm. They were like, oh, that's a bit odd. Obviously got very concerned this could be a hacker. Mm. Anyway, so they were auditing all of all the information they sent. They were looking through it, looking through it, and they were like, right, yeah, I can understand. There, There is a hit constantly from China, like pretty much daily. Mm. does happen. They don't appear to be like downloading anything that could be used as like a gateway to get into anything else. Very strange. Like County lines. <laughs> Drugs. Please. <laughs> it's a clean house. 
they were like, yeah, no, you're right. It's happening. It is happening. So they looked a bit further in and they were like, mm, they are. <laughs> they look further in as in. <laughs> yep, you got late. Yep. Hack at that. <laughs> Couldn't see from back here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and this, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between, those who identify as those, those who don't, whoever you are, this is why I don't tell the story. Sorry, right. Back Being on, a child. Back on track. There's a suspicion of a hack. Yes. They get an auditing team. Yeah, the auditing out. team are like, yeah, that is, there is a hit from China mm. pretty much daily. They don't appear to be downloading anything, mm. but they do appear to be uploading things, which are like, oh my God. Is it spy software? Mm. Is it this? Is it that? Oh my God. Are they putting viruses on the VPN so that the whole company gets infected? And then, you know, where does it go from there? So the auditing company that begins with the V carried on looking. They looked further into the issue and they were like, well, now, big American corporation that deals with coding, we have found something and it's not a hacker. And then they were like, there is someone you are employing and paying your hopefully good money. Who knows? We don't know what the company is. Could be dodgy money. Who knows? You're paying this person a six-figure salary. And they are on the company VPN sending it off to a person in China and paying them a very small percent of their salary to do their work for them. And that employee was Bob. Oh, Robert. Bobbington. Bobby. Bibbly bobbly boop. Under a pseudonym? Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Bob had been getting his tasks in. Mm. The day, the week, the month, whatever, the year, who knows? And thought, ah, I'm going to send this work to someone else. I'm going to pay them a tiny percent of my salary and I'm going to reap the rewards. Oh. And Bob was a very, very well respected employee at this company. Bob was constantly getting emails from people saying, You're one of the most efficient coders we have. Your work's really clean. It's always like straight to the point. It always makes sense. He was reaping all these rewards when in actual fact, the real Bob was spending his day pretty much watching cat videos and on social media. Is cat videos confirmed or are you just assuming? That was just in a video that I saw. It was just like Bob actually spent his day watching cat videos oh. and scrolling social media. Now I can't confirm that that's exactly what Bob was. I assume it was. Like you've never watched Suits, have you? No. So Suits is based on a guy, oh. no, it's based on a guy who, he didn't go to law school himself, mm. but people pay him to sit exams for them. Oh. So he knows all the exams, he passes all the exams. He's got it up in his nog. He's got it all, all up in here in his mind palace. Oh. And he sits all the exams and then someone finally, he goes into a law firm, he's like, look, I, I can recite the bar for, to you, backwards, forwards, sideways, whatever. They give him a job and it's all about the fact that he's not actually qualified to do that job. Wow. He pretends the entire time. It's so really Bob good. Bob knew nothing. No, I mean, Bob got employed because he knew what he was doing. Oh, Bob got lazy. Bob got lazy. He knew that someone else would do it for cheaper. Oh. Now, you think, wow, that's a six-figure salary that Bob is getting to do nothing and paying someone in China bare minimum to do their work for them. And getting a lot of praise, and Bob was just there reaping the rewards, aimlessly scrolling on the social medias. The same person? Yeah. The same Chinese person? I believe so. Was he happy about it? Yeah, he was getting paid, wasn't he? However, it has since been discovered that our Bob, the philanthropist, the, the main guy of this story, was not just employed by this company, he was employed by other companies where he was doing the same thing. What? It's 
So Bob was getting paid six figure salaries from multiple companies in the US of the A's. Oh, so he didn't have to go into any offices. No, it was because it was coding. So it was all remote, oh. even back in like 2012. And he was employed by multiple companies, six figure salaries to do coding and to do all this clever stuff. And with every company, he wasn't actually doing the work. He was outsourcing it to people in China and other countries to do the work for him whilst paying them barely anything. Well, that's genius, isn't it? He didn't technically break the law, but he broke company policy. Mm. So he did have to be fired. From all companies? I think so. I I only know he was fired from this one company that did like the digging and then, mm. yeah. But I would imagine so. Genius. Now, some of the... <clears throat> oh, a bubble... Some of the comments I've seen, people are like, well, he should have just been promoted to, like, CEO because that's all they do anyway. No. Oh. Oh, Which, scandalous. Scandalous. The CEOs get paid the big bucks, the right? Big bucks. But it's the people underneath them that actually do the work. Mm, heavy lifters. Yeah. Right. So I understand that point of view. Yeah. Lovely listeners, viewers, and whatever you're doing. What do you think about Bob? Do you think hero or villain? Do you think, wow, what a man? I could probably outsource my job and get away with it. Or do you think, no, you get paid to do a job. Do your job, Bob. Do you have any stories relating to hacking or anything to do with Bob's situation, outsourcing cat videos or breaking policy, breaking the law, or breaking the law? No, I'm a really above board citizen, to be mm-hmm. honest. Do you? No, but I do wonder maybe that the, the Chinese man, Oh, woman. Person. Person. Was outsourcing Bob's work Imagine. to someone in, like, India. And For like, a fifth of their salary. Yeah. And that is the plot. Woo! Ooh. See you next week for more fun, frivolousness, and non-fiction. Just the facts. Unless your name's Bob. <laughs> <laughs>